Looking for a way to get healthy? The Chef You and I program has the answer. Catherine Raker and chefs from around the nation will teach even the most inexperienced how to cook. Come into their kitchen and watch them take ordinary foods with loads of calories and fat and turn those foods into healthier dishes. You will be the first to get tips and ideas on foods that are easy to prepare. Now let's join Catherine and today's chef and learn how to make today's recipes. Hi, this is Catherine Rager of The Chef You and I, and my guest, who I absolutely love having on, is my pastor and priest, Father Andrew Umberg. And he, of course, is a German boy, right? Yeah, Umberg. Your family is from Germany originally, and my family on my mom's side is. So I've been cooking German for years, haven't you? I have, I have. And so you're going to make typical German meal, because this is around this time is Oktoberfest, and people love German food. So what are you making? Well, we're going to start off with a sauerbraten, Ooh. which was real popular around Cincinnati back when people cooked all day. That's true. Um, although we're not going to have to cook all day. This is kind of an easy recipe. Right. Uh, and uh, disclaimer, um, my family has been in the country three or four uh, generations, so okay. it's really not so much handed down I just right. want to say, you didn't say it was, I was, but... Well, no, I uh, didn't. But, uh, but it, anyway, you know, my family is a handed down, too. Okay. So, I mean, I learned how to make Geta oh, years nice. ago. So then I asked my German granddaughter, who lived in Germany all of her life, about Geta, and she said, I don't know what they're talking about. Right. You know why? Because it was a food stretcher during the war. Oh, yeah. I think even in 19th century Cincinnati, I think even before the war, they kept That's making true. it during... The war, yeah, Geta, right. G-O-E-T-T-A. We're not making it today, but wow, that's Cincinnati breakfast food. And you only get it in Hamilton County where Cincinnati is. No, and, uh, wait, Just the contingent Changed. counties. Changing. Oh, Since that's Kroger's true. is now in Arizona and everywhere, you can get Geta and oh, you can gosh. get Skyline Chili. Okay. Everywhere. Did you well, know that? That is good. No, that's I good. haven't gotten to Arizona. Well, I can tell you, that. I found it there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so let's do okay. it. So, so the first thing we do, Father, is what? Well, to make sour broth, you need some sour um, stuff for the uh, for the roast to soak in, so it gets nice and sour. Okay. And um, I think this is a, a nice uh, recipe for this. Uh, you'll need a red onion. Mm -hmm. You'll need some red wine. You can buy either some fairly cheap red wine. This is ca Cabernet leftover. If you end up having dinners and you're the type that then d doesn't look at the wine for weeks later after it's been on your refrigerator door. Right. Um, but you have to have the cork in it, of course. You know, it still remains wine. We don't want right. to turn into vinegar, but it might not really be servable. So that's nice. So we've got about a cup of that left in the bottle, okay. which is just right for what we're doing. Okay. Then we'll also put in some vinegar. I have some distilled uh, white vinegar here. Okay. Uh, we could get red wine vinegar, but rather than that, since I've always got red wine Why uh, not? Uh, uh, sitting Why not? around the house with, uh, right. without me drinking it, right. uh, there we go. And then a little bit of water. So we're gonna mix that with some red onion and mm -hmm. some spices in a saucepan, heat it up, and then that's gonna fill the house with that uh, great Wonder aroma. Smell. And then we're gonna let it cool off a little bit, then we'll pour it on the roast. Okay. So we need to stop, uh, start chopping a red onion. Could you do this for me? And, sure I can. And I'll uh, measure out the other ingredients. Right. So, and we just want it in um, slices uh, about about an eighth of an inch thick. Okay, buddy. I'll do okay, that. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so you just, uh, you can leave right. the rings. You want me I to guess. leave the rings, right? Yeah, that okay. would be great. Okay, okay. so uh, for this, uh, let's go ahead and pour this and see how close we are to a cup. I thought we had about a cup here, but if we don't, that's okay. Okay. We just wanted to have, have some more, red wine flavor. Some red wine flavor. Oh, no, no, this is, yeah, this this is, is nice. Fine. Okay, so uh, you want it in one-eighth slices, right? It's about right? three-quarters of a cup here. Okay. So then I am going to add... Like uh, this, Father? Like this, maybe? You that's that? wonderful. That's okay, wonderful. That's Thank good. you. Okay. Then uh, the vinegar. I'm going to go ahead. So I ended up with about three-quarters of a cup, does it look like here? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, okay. that's nice. Yeah, okay. So then I will now add the uh, red wine. Or, or no, I'll... Red, 
add this, uh, this vinegar. vinegar, the distilled vinegar. So we're going to make it go up to about a cup and a half then, huh? Okay. Um, you know what? Just what? for good measure, I'm going a little bit more. Okay. Make sure it's nice no and problem. vinegery. So now we're really Is getting to enough? the two cups. Or do you want more? Uh, that's, that's plenty, yeah. Okay. We'll, we might not even right. have to even okay. use all that. So I'm going to put this in a saucepan. Right. Let's see. We have this saucepan back here. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and put this in here. I'm also going to add about a, a cup of water oh, because okay. we want lo lots of liquid here. Could you go ahead and just throw that onion into yeah, there? Yeah, you want me to give you some fresh water? Uh, even, however you give whatever it to me want. right here. Right? Okay. Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. Okay. So we're doing nice filtered water here, and uh, we'll also add a couple of other things to this. Uh, one cup. Again, I'm one calling cup. the yeah. One cup is great. Okay. We want to make sure it's, it's enough to kind of preserve the meat as it mm -hmm. sits in the refrigerator for a few mm -hmm. days. But it doesn't have to be too... It, the, the more vinegary you make it, the more sugar and other things that you need to add to get back to, uh, you know, to, to being able to eat it unless you're, you're like really sour food. So mm -hmm. there's four cloves. Oh, there's okay. a little stem there. Yeah. And here's another... I, I put nine cloves in, more or less. Mm -hmm. not, you know, if you have ten, it's not going to hurt. Eight's not going to be mm -hmm. uh, too little either. Okay, so now we have... Do you want more? Um, yeah, that, that'll do the trick. That's looking very okay. full. Okay, okay. and uh, so we have that cup of uh, water in here? Yes, we do. Okay, so... Um, we're going to heat that, right? We're going to heat that, and um, you know what? Let's put a little bit more water and a little bit more vinegar in. Sure. Okay, so we're, we're uh, increasing. I'm so... Sorry, folks, I'm going to put in another quarter cup. This, I'm sure, is a quarter cup of vinegar, okay? And then it's about another half cup of water you yes, put in there? Yes. Great. Okay, so now we have a cup and a half of water, mm -hmm. um, a good uh, cup, maybe a cup and a quarter of uh, white vinegar, right. and then about, well, just short of a cup of red wine. You can have, you, you can't have too much sour broughton gravy. It's nice. To, to have oh, that, yeah. especially the way we're going to is. do it. Okay. okay, so we've got 10 cloves as well. And then I'm also going to put in a few peppercorns. Yes. And, you know, that's about 10. Let's. Uh, how often do you make this? Maybe once a year. Really? Uh, that's it? So yeah, yeah, that's about 15. These are kind of small peppercorns, so I put okay. in 15. I think, you know, a half dozen's uh, going to be plenty probably for many people. Right. Okay, then I have pickling spice here. Okay. And I'm going to add this a little bit later and kind of, a, you know, I don't like trying to do the cheesecloth and all that. I don't have a really big tea ball, you know, those tea balls, uh, you know, that, that, that you put tea in before, before they invented tea bags. Now I know what um, you need for yeah, Christmas. So, yeah, okay. There you go. Okay, we'll get a nice big spice diffuser. That's the fancy word when it's a tea ball we know that. for spice. Okay. So, so you're we'll going to turn that on, and, right, Father? Yes, ma'am. And uh, let's see, I'll let you do it. And on it goes. How, okay. How do you? It can be nice medium heat there. Okay. Okay. So. Um, how long does that I'll cook for, Father? On. Well, we we let it uh, come to a boil, and I have to watch it. I, I put the lid on, so I got to okay. watch it. Back, make sure it doesn't boil over. But we'll bring it to a simmer, and then we'll allow it to continue to simmer for about say 15 minutes. You want those onions. Nice and uh, translucent. Yeah, 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 translucent. Very, okay. very, very, very limp. And then that'll soften the cloves a little bit, and the uh, maybe they might so soak in there and soften anyway. But anyway, so for the pickling spice, right? I'm putting in a little less than a quarter cup here. Okay, and this is just okay. pickling spice that I bought at this uh, at the store. Yeah. This thing will swell up a little bit eventually. So anyway, we'll leave it here. Smell that though. That's such a nice. It just gives another oh, layer of all these wow, different smells to wonderful. it. Wonderful. So, now I know of uh, many uh, Germans do, <coughs> at least yeah. Cincinnati Germans, they put in lemon slices of lemon. You want slim, You want some slices of lemon? No, but at home they might want them. I don't like. I don't like to mess with it because we've got so much sour stuff already, and we've got the wine. I understand. In every way, I understand. So, I understand. Um, but, but some people would like that. But um, anyway. I want to tell um, you about a couple of things, if you don't mind. Sure. We were given this wonderful bread. This is German bread, and it is 16 bricks, Father. 
16 bricks, like for a brick oven or something. Yeah, huh? like for a brick. It's sure made it every day. It's fresh. Nice. So it's artesian bread. So there's no preservatives in it. That's nice. So I had to freeze it. So because a very wonderful gentleman, Richard Stewart, gave it to me from um, the wonderful farm down the street. And he also gave us these beautiful, beautiful uh, dark malt vinegar wine from the Madhouse Vinegar Company, which we're going to use for your red cabbage, red cabbage, Sweet and sour right? Cabbage, yeah. And that's Carriage House Farms, right in North Bend, Ohio. Right by us. Yeah, right by you, right near the parish. In the parish boundaries. And yeah. so we're going to have a little bit of German bread later. And then I didn't, you know, German beer. That's a big deal, isn't it? I think it is. I yeah, hear I it so. is. I've never you tried it, it myself. Well, actually, but I hear it's, a very it's big deal. Yeah, really yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. And uh, so I wanted to bring, you know, German uh, ingredients to our German fest. This is what we have mm -hmm. here, an Oktoberfest type of thing. And so these are the kind of things that you get at Oktoberfest. Nice. Isn't that cool? Yes, the, oh, that's uh, Oktoberfest Cincinnati. But right. Spelled with the Z's instead of C's. Uh, because that would be uh, the, right. the way a, a German that would, be right. would pr pronounce it correctly if right. there were a Z at the beginning. Right. So uh, anyhow, I wanted to make it really traditional. So the next thing you're going to make is what? Well, we are going to still work on this a little bit. Okay. I you're going to add yeah, that to yeah, it? Yeah. We're still not quite there yet. And uh, the saucepan's a little bit too big, but don't worry. We'll have, we'll have a way of uh, doing this. I'm going to put this over here if that's okay, or I'll put it toward the front. Do you need and, a thing uh, that you put? That it's there. Do you need something to put it in? I mean, I uh, can. No, no, because we'll 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 be using that to diffuse okay. it. I okay. think it's time to start on the red cabbage. Let's that's do that. That's another big thing. But we need so, to take a short break, Father. Sounds great. And we'll be right back on the Chef You and I. And don't forget to go to our website at thechefyouandi.com. We're going to put it on our website, Father, which is the Chef You and I. Dot com and your website, Father? Okay, yes, yes. We'll put it on the parish website. Right. That is St. Joseph, uh, St. Joseph North Bend dot com. Right. So again, St. Joseph North Bend dot com. That's uh, great. We'll okay. be right back. We're back on the Chef You and I, and Father's wonderful sour broughton, what you call it gravy, really, when you think about it. It'll eventually be gravy. At this point, I'm calling it brine, brine. but that might be wrong, too. It smells delicious, by the way. Oh, I just... yes, it's starting to simmer. Oh, and, it smells and great. And I didn't put any salt in it yet. I don't want to have too much salt in it, but uh, a little less than a quarter teaspoon I'm going to grind in here real right. quick. And, and that's now... about a quarter of a teaspoon. Yeah. Right. So, quarter teaspoon salt. Okay. So, so okay. do you want me to do the onion, or what do you now, want now, me to now, do? Yeah. Now we're ready to move toward the uh, the cabbage, the red, sweet and sour red cabbage. Right. And uh, so, here is the the onion. If you'll go ahead and peel that, and then we want that uh, chopped, please. Okay. How much do you want it chopped, buddy? Uh, if you you can chop up the whole thing, I think okay. that would be nice. I can do that. I'm not the type that ever says, "Oh, this has too much onion in it," or too much garlic. If you we are, know that. you got to be careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. You want to be careful with it if uh, if right. you're that the, the type or your but family. But the best part of it, he's not putting garlic in most of it, which I think is great. There is no garlic in this meal tonight. This might be the hey, first thing first other than peanut butter garlic. and jelly Thank I've you. ever cooked that didn't have garlic in it. Wow. The first complete meal it. anyway. So. Yeah. Okay. So I've got, has some nice, happens to be organic red cabbage here from okay. our local grocery store. Yeah. And then... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, chop this. Right. And we want to have it manageable. I mean, it doesn't have to be completely minced, but I'm going about about two inches, maybe a little mm -hmm. bit uh, longer than that. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I'm going to cut it into about a quarter inch pieces like this. I'm going to move this right so he can see everything that you're doing. I'm going to cut a little bit more of the cabbage if you pass that over. Oh, I'll sure take I will. another slice of that off. Okay. Yeah, because this is one big pun. This is a four pound cabbage. I mm -hmm. wouldn't recommend trying to do all well, it depends on the size of your crew, I guess. Have you uh, had deer meat? Have you had venison, Father? Oh, yeah. Oh, and so I have you made venison. it with red cabbage before? No, I haven't. I is have. It's not hard. So maybe later on this year we can do some venison. I would love that. That would be really cool. 
Okay, if you, and you know my friend who owns a farm in Indiana, do you know what she does? She makes gatta with venison. Never heard of that, okay, I've heard. But it's really it good. All. It's really, she makes, she makes it a getta. She freezes it. Um, I have a recipe for venison, uh, like subs, that is absolutely mm. to die for. Oh gosh. Oh, it's really good. It sounds how, good. How much sounds... do you want to cook this? Uh, I, I turned it down a little bit. That's what okay. I was doing uh, before, okay. we, as you were okay. talking about the, the Christmas. Um, it's almost done, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, right. Whenever those onions really look like they're... Uh, getting translucent. Yes, and here's they're the thing. They're getting near, closer. They're getting close, and they're guess what? Close. I also should what? Uh, put in that pickling spice now. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ladle. I think we've got one right. Yeah, well, you do have a ladle. Right here. And then, uh, what? I, you know, I could dip this into the sauce if, if I had it taller, or, or the brine. But what I'm going to do is just ladle it over here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's a cool way to do it. Yeah, it's, uh, again, the diffuser probably would be nicer, but, but certainly we're getting some of those spices in there. And you know what, I'll Everybody even take this ladle have, and I'll even yeah. kind of just go like this a little bit. Yeah, you know what, a lot um, of people don't have a diffuser though. So this is an easy way to do it, or they can use cloth. They can use. Um, yeah, if they get cheese, uh, they can cheese buy that cheesecloth at the uh, at the store. Well, you should have I'm said I would have done it for you. I have cheesecloth. Well, this is wonderful. This is. I think this is really cool the way you did it. Mo yeah, most people have some sort of screen strainer. It doesn't have to be small. Yeah, you know, yeah. you could have any any screen strainer. Yeah. And okay, so I keep ladling this over. I know it would be nice, folks, to really let this soak, and I'm going to do that a tiny bit here, but. It, it'll get there. It'll be. It'll be nice. Okay. That I hope, looks great. Hope no one's mad at home, by the way. I'm Why were they mad at home? <laughs> the nice thing about the nice like thing this. about having your pastor be a chef, it's just really cool because he really makes great food, right? That's right. And yeah. we're going to be doing his recipe cards very shortly. And our parishioners are really going to be excited about it. But we can send you Father's Recipe Cards, too. So we will give you the information after the show, and I'll have it up on the website. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so I think we're done with this. I'm still going to let it cook a little bit longer, though. You know what? Okay. One more time right, with the diffuser. Time. Sorry to okay. fuss so much with this, but this is nice. Do you need me to do anything with this pan right here, Father? Um, I'll tell you what, if you'll put a little bit of olive oil in it, sure. like a tablespoon or so. We'll put a little bit of olive oil in it. Um, how much do you need, Father? Um, about uh, a tablespoon or so. Is that enough? I would call that a tablespoon, yeah. yeah so maybe a touch it. more, touch more, make a full, yeah. nice full tablespoon. That's really We might nice. be getting to a tablespoon and a half. Yeah. And I am going to go ahead and Put in a little bit of butter too, about a tablespoon of butter. Okay. Now again, you could use margarine or whatever other kind of thing. Right. right. I'm going for this. Okay. So we have a tablespoon of each. Yes, that's a little bit of cabbage debris in there because I use the same knife. No use dirtying thirty knives, right? Okay. Do you want to turn so it on? So I'm going to go ahead and turn. Why don't you turn that on? Okay. This is the it's, fun. It's, it's Catherine's uh, studio stove. She knows where to turn the thing on. Okay, so how okay, high do you about want about it to medium be? Heat, medium, medium heat, medium heat, and then we'll be adding the onion, whatever you would saute onion right. in. And then here is, uh, oh, you have a shield, one of those nice shields. You just tell me when you want me to put it in. Okay, I'm going to, okay, go ahead and you can throw some of that in. Okay. We'll let it melt a little bit there. And... Here, let me get the rest. Okay. You know, I love gadgets, Father, as you probably know. Mm -hmm. And I have a gadget for, and I, I like to wear plastic gloves when I'm doing onion or garlic. But I have one of those wonderful little eraser things that you just take your hand and rub it on so you don't have to smell the onions anymore. Okay, Pretty see, and cool. I live to smell the onions. I like them. No, okay, it's not, so you know. quarter teaspoon of salt on the, uh, on, the, um, on the onions as they begin to saute. You want me to... Okay, and you know what? I'm going to crack a little pepper on those, too. Yeah. Not even, a quarter, not even a quarter tablespoon. I love pepper. I think it's so good for you. I think it is, too. I, I, I think it's very healthy. Right. 
Do you need a spatula? I'm going to just use the spoon if that's okay. okay. I, th I think this will work okay. Here, can you go ahead and stir this yeah, sure I will. around a little bit? Make okay. sure we get a nice mixture there. Okay. Our onions um, are starting to get nice and soft here. So, oh wow, and I'll tell you what, I can smell, I can smell the, uh, spi the pickling spices in there now. So okay, now so we have this cooling off. Again, we don't want to pour this on our roast until after it right. cools. So we'll just leave it cooling a little bit more and then we'll do that next, that okay. next step. And we have sauteed the onions and we're going to put the cabbage in next, right, Father? Is it correct, ready? Correct, correct. It is ready to go. If you want to use that scoop, that would be great. All right. And we're putting it in with the onions and the olive oil. We put a little bit more olive oil in. So now we're up to about a quarter cup of olive oil along with a tablespoon of butter. It's just we want to make sure we get some oil all over these, uh, these red cabbage leaves. Otherwise, I think we're going to have more discoloration than we want. Yeah. So tell me how much you, more you want me to put in. Uh, uh, I think we're good there. You so, think we're good there? Yeah. So we have a little bit over, a, well, we have a Almost little bit, a, about a half, half of a giant head of red cabbage right, here. Right. Right. And, and it a looks medium really onion. Good. Yeah. Just to review, about a, um, a half of a, um, a giant red cabbage uh, cut into about two inch by quarter inch strips. Uh, we have a medium onion chopped. Uh, again, it, it, it doesn't have to be chopped really fine, but it, you know, is wh where you want it. Um, and then we have again a quarter cup of olive oil and a, and a tablespoon of uh, what butter in here. Butter. Okay. And that's important so, to note that you really want those flavors all mixed together. And if you like cabbage as much as Father and I do, you will really, really, really love this cabbage. Did you tell me that you want me to put an apple in there? Yes, I okay, think it's time. Okay, let's do that. Um, if you're really doing it as a German would, you would put apple in it. They love apple. And so the surprise tonight is I'm going to make an apple pie, which I love. And it's a good time at this time of year for apples. And I don't know about you, Father, but I love apples. I do, too. And they're so good for you. So, Although I like the caramel ones, those might not be as good for me, <laughs> but I do love but them. But you do love them, right? That's the important thing. And when the first time I went to Germany, I had uh, Saarbrotten. I had already had Saarbrotten before, but I have to tell you, my favorite was the red cabbage with apples. Absolutely. And venison. That was delicious. Here we go, Father. Hold on. Thank you. Okay. So I'll, I'll just leave that on the top for right now and let that saute a little bit more. Okay. Wonderful. Bit, right? Wonderful. Okay. Yeah, so our next step will be to add some vinegar. And I right. think you had mentioned, right. I don't know if you mentioned the vinegar. We have another bottle of it there, but this is dark malt vinegar. And it's what? Madhouse Vinegar Company, our new sponsor. That's right. They're right in our parish boundaries. Uh, right. Anyway, this smells... Wonderful. It's, again, dark malt vinegar. It smells like what I would call balsamic vinegar. Right. And I guess, I guess it probably technically is a kind of balsamic vinegar. Yes, it is. They do all kinds and of vinegars. Wonderful. And you want to hear something? What's that? They even make a coffee vinegar. You that never would, would think of that, would you? I would not. It's I would really not good. So what I'm going to do is invite you to come down to meet the boys. I would love that. And also, they would love to have you come and be a chef for a group and it could okay. be our parish and great. or others but they bring chefs in all the time to do stuff well, for that events sounds great and i think that would be so fun for you i think it would too something different so when do you want to put the vinegar in it father let's go ahead and pour um a third of a cup right now okay and we'll add it in just a little bit i just want to let that saute a little bit more and for me I know at home you would like a very precise recipe for me, as you know. I, it's not you're always never, quite the same. But you know what? I, I Guess what? I grew up the same way you did. We never measured anything. Sure, sure. So when, you're, just, so when you're on a cooking show, right? I mean, do you, do you ever see Paula Dean measure anything? No. So or any of those guys, right? Uh -huh. This is maybe a little bit more than a quarter cup. Yeah. But, uh, but that's here's what right. I think. 
Ooh, I can't wait. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of water too because yeah, that would be good. Yeah, I don't. For good. you know, if we add that water, then it can boil out a little bit. Just a but this smells so good, and it's supposed to. The the wonderful thing about red cabbage is that it's so good for you, and it tastes so good. I'm adding about a half cup of water now. Okay. Just nice good old tap water there. Oh, I smell that vinegar. Oh wow. Oh, it's a beautiful smell. Yes. It's oh really yeah. Nice. Yeah, he let me taste. They have like ten or they have like ten, eight to ten vinegars. Unbelievable. This is like vinegar fest here tonight here on this. I stove. know. This is still steaming, but it'll cool off in a little bit. And we'll okay. go to the next. Now, do you want me to cover period. this, Father, or what do you want me to do? I would like to do one more deep stir of it. Okay. I know you've been very industrious there. You know what? What? I want to add a clove or two. That's a good idea. So we're gonna add, and by a clove or two I mean a half dozen or something like that. Yeah, you we know. know that. It's kind of like garlic and emerald, right? Okay. So here we go. Yes. I, I don't think Emerald is comparing himself to me, but I'll compare. No, but that's I'll all right. That's I'll take all right. any comparisons to Emerald. Right. Okay, it looks like it's more like seven. Yeah. Whoops, there right. we go. There we okay. go. So we and in it goes. Yeah, that in, right? Yeah, let's see. I make sure those are stirred in. Okay, well. There's still one there in the corner. Oh, okay. Oh, I got and it. And then I think you I just want it? to make sure that we have plenty of. Uh, oil on the walls there. I'm going to just is do one last not? thing. Okay. Well, I'm making sure that there is so we don't have to try to clean right, that stuff off. Right, right, right. Okay, no one wants it. Okay. Is that good? Uh, yes, we are ready for the lid then. Okay, here and we go. And so we're going to try cooking this, simmering this uh, for about a half hour once we bring it to a, uh, a simmer. And it's, you want to simmer? It is simmering a little bit already. We're going to have to turn it down eventually All right. uh, a little bit more. We don't have it very, it's only on medium heat as it is, but we'll turn it down to way low once we, hit those, once now, we get those bubbles going. Now, we're going to take a short break here in a second because guess what? You're going to make your famous Brussels sprouts. Yes. Yes. Awesome. So we'll be right back with Father Andrew Umberg. And myself, Catherine Raker, on The Chef You and I. We're back on The Chef You and I with Father Andrew Umberg and our German, wonderful German dishes. And now you're going to show everyone you're taking the wonderful brine that we did. Yes. Earlier. Yes, yes. And you're going to pour it over the meat and then we're going to put it in the refrigerator, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and, so and, let's do that. And, and any, any kind of roast that you'd use for a pot roast right. is good for that. Uh, I'm using chuck. I think that's nice. That's uh, really good. Actually, when it gets tender, it's delicious. It's really has a wonderful taste to it, Father. And this is about a two and a half pound uh, chuck roast. Okay. And I'm pouring, I'm pouring this liquid over the top oh, of it. Oh, that looks wonderful. Okay, so do Ooh, we... I, I might get this last clove out, I'm sorry. So right. we've let it cool a little bit before doing that. Right, we did that. And, and then, then... this is uh, steaming, right? I'm yes, yes. This down. Now I want to cover this. I'm going to use a plate, and then we put it in the refrigerator. Why, I put, Father? I put a plate on instead of... Uh, I don't like aluminum foil on stuff yeah. with a lot of acid in there. Right. Um, because, I don't know, I just don't... And you want to put plastic, but this is yeah, better. Yeah, yeah and pl and plastic's fine, but, but a plate's even easier. Okay, and you want me to More put this in the refrigerator, right? Right, so our roast covered with that brine that's let, allowed to cool off some, and then the, the roast will cool it off more, and into the refrigerator it goes. Okay, we're going to do okay. that. We're back on The Chef You and I with Father Andrew Umberg, and this is all German night, and you did what, Father, with... Well, we've had uh, the roast in the refrigerator for a couple of days, in the sour brat and uh, brine Mixture. or juice, yeah, whatever Mixture. we want to call it there. Uh, and uh, so, so. Let's see. And now, yeah, it's been in there. And see, you have to make sure that, of course, that, you know, that vinegar and water, you can add a little bit of water. So right. this is the, 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 the mixture that we heated on the stove before. Wow, I can and smell then, that. Wow. Yeah, and then it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of got a nice smell. Uh, wow. Even, even when it's cold, of course, it was. It was very, it filled the whole kitchen before when I we were cooking I can imagine, it. yeah, um, I know. So, uh, so now we'll move this into a, a greased casserole dish. I just like not having to scrub too much, so that's why I'm recommending that it would be greased. So. And then if you'll pick up that roast, yes, if, if you can get that, and yes. then just put that in there. Oh, wow. That's great. It has a lot of the red onions on it. I fished 
some of them up there a little bit. And um, let's see if there's a little bit more just to, to move out to make it... Uh, even better. Yes, because at the time we're making the gravy, it's okay. We can have some onions in there, but we don't want to yeah. have too many onions now in there. And how long does this cook for, Father? We're going to put it in at 360. Mm -hmm. We preheated the oven there. Mm -hmm. And we're going to cook it. It's kind of like a, a regular pot roast. Uh, I'm going 360 degrees, which might be a little bit hot for some people. Really? And I'm going, I want to make sure it's, it's well done. And we're going to go about... 50 minutes. We'll see what it looks like after 50 minutes. Okay. If you, if you like to cook your pot roast slower than that, it won't hurt anything. Okay? Good. Let's do it. Great. You ready so to put it in the put oven? In. Yes, I'll put this off to the side. Okay. Now that, I mean, both Father and I are German. We love it. And you have to love German food. And we're in Cincinnati, so that's even more of a German town, right? Yes. And we so. have our German beer. Okay. And we'll our get German to that vinegar. Later. So let's put it in the oven, Father. Great. Good. Okay. Okay, so we want to put it on for about how long? Uh, we're going about 45 to 50 minutes. Okay, so let's set it on here. So let's set this up. So um, we're actually putting cook time on here, and we're going to make it 50 minutes. Yeah, 50 is good. And then uh, okay. start it. There you go. Great. Father, what's the next step we're doing now that we're back from the break? Okay, we just put the roast in there and we put it into the oven. Right. But then remember that brine that we put on before. Right. Now it's changed color a little bit after a few days in the yeah. refrigerator. So this is kind of a meaty brine now. Right. And there's some onions in it, which is fine. And now we're going to heat this up in order to thicken it. Uh, that's, this is going to be our sour broughten gravy now. Now let this me ask you a question. Are you going to use anything, any thickener to thicken it up? Uh, we are. Okay. Uh, and that, 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 it will be a surprise. Spoiler alert, it's going to be ginger snaps. Ginger snaps? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're awesome. putting ginger snaps into it. Absolutely awesome. Okay. So, so we want to turn that on, right? Yes, yes. We'll go ahead and turn this thing on. And we'll heat it up real nice. Okay, mm -hmm. so good. So that's getting ready to go. And then we'll have to smash those ginger snaps, though. And then we'll put a little bit when we well, take gonna the We're going to love this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Do you know what this is, Father? This is a bagwell. This is one of our sponsors. Oh, now nice. let me show you this. This is a plastic bag, right? Mm -hmm. This goes like this. So and you, you can, can store it, your, it easy. Yes, right. But when you do, so we can do the ginger snaps right in here. Okay. And I'll show you how. So where's the ginger snaps? I will get the ginger snaps. They're so right our producer there. Producer, help us out with those. And then. Here are ginger snaps, and just I, regular ginger snaps I that I'm not at the grocery store. I love them. Yeah, and we don't want to go overboard with them now. We have uh, about, what, uh, almost a quart of liquid, right? Because right. we put all that vinegar and, right, uh, right. and wine. And, but you're um, going to smash them, right? We're going to smash them, but Hold on. I'm going to, so for about a quart of this stuff, I'm going to start with 10. Okay. Say two, uh, four, six. Right. Eight, ten. Now we could probably make a kind of white sauce and add some, yeah. or, or add some thickening uh, to it along with some sugar and uh, powdered ginger if we want to try to do that. Um, I don't know. believe in that. You know what? I think we need even a dozen there. That's right. Okay. Now, and do if you we want... need sugar later, we can. If it's not we sweet enough, add. it's like mm, right. we're, we're going to have to. So here's the cool thing about this. Now all you have to do is go like this, and. You can either use this. I thought there was going to be stomping. I thought I was going to be. You're going to stomp it. Stomping on them, but no. This is a much better way. Probably more sanitary. Yeah. Right. Very. Or nice. you can use one of those pounders that we have, right? Like a like a one of meat, meat tenderizing it's in, it's, thing. Yeah. You know, yeah. Or you can use one of these, okay. right? You're going right, to love right. this. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. doing this. So okay. especially when you're, if you're upset with anything, yeah, I'll then keep you my can hands just then eggs. you can just do this, right? Exactly. Get out all that energy. When I'm upset, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. And I'm in church work, so I never have anything to be upset about. That's true. You got God on your side. Yeah. <laughs> I do too, you know. He answers me. I can't believe how much he answers me lately. Well, good. That's good. Okay, how much more do you want me to... That's nice. I that's think that's nice? nice now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, we have to stop. 
<laughs> I swear God wasn't answering your prayers the way you're doing that. Yeah, okay. right, right. So great. Okay, okay. So, so here's what this looks like. We might end up needing a little bit more, but it, it, when you first put the ginger snaps in uh, to our simmering uh, mm -hmm. brine, uh, what it might look like, oh, I need more ginger snaps, but wait for it, wait for it. The, these things will all absorb a lot of... It's just like uh, crackers. Yeah, yeah, like crackers, but even more absorbent, I would right, say. Right, so when are you going to put that in there? Well, first, uh, we're, we're, when our roast is done, we're, so we're reheating this now, but when the roast is done, right. we'll take that out and uh, we'll move the roast to a platter or someplace where we can cut it. Then we'll pour some of the renderings of the roast into there. Not Ooh. We don't want to go too far with it because there's a lot of fat in it, yeah. but just enough to add a flavor gravy to, flavor, uh, flavor you know. to it. Right. And I guess we could, I end up, I usually put it in first. We could right now for the sake of the show, put this in first Let's and I'm sure that. it'll absorb. Okay, yeah, that's so good. here we go. So we'll go All ahead right. and pour this on in. This is getting nice and hot now, so. Uh, Isn't that beautiful? It is. Or can that, I stir that, it that a did a great job of, uh, yes. And in fact, let, let me you get can you even a big get your kids. Spoon. You can even get your kids or grandchildren or nieces and nephews. They could do a project as well. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that would be, be great. Okay. So okay, I think I think our I think our wonderful. Uh, can you give red me that? Red cabbage is getting yeah, close, is. huh? I think it's pretty close, Father. Yeah. Well, how do you know that the red cabbage is done Let's when look. it's tender enough for you? That's okay. I'm going to get a spoon. Right, and try it, and tell me what you think. Is As it? I'm pushing on the side of it, I would go a little bit more. I think this is usually served. Our, our color is really nicely oh, maintained here. Here, in right. fact, can we show this to our producer? Yeah, we can show that. Let's okay. just look at that. Um, no, don't better... touch it, Father. He can get it. Oh, okay. He's good at this. And then here, I'll even scoop some of this up oh, a little bit. Look delicious. at how nice this is. Delicious. Okay, and we better put that lid back on and keep okay. that uh, keep okay. that steam all in there. All right. Okay. We don't want it to dry out and start scorching. That would be bad. No, that would be bad. So here's the thing, Father. Okay, um, you can put that back on, yeah, on the I rack can put there, this and we can use rack. that for our well, garbage. Okay. Oh, no, we got Brussels sprouts to do. Yes, okay. So how long will that take, Father? Oh, about five minutes. Five minutes, uh, we'll do bit. that. When we get back, we'll be making our Brussels sprouts. In the meantime, I'll start cutting up my apples, Father, while you're getting ready to do that so we can get it in the pie. We'll be right back yes. after these important messages. We're back on the chef, you and I, and Father, I went ahead and made the apple pie so that you could take over and do the meat and your Brussels sprouts in your pasta. Okay, yes, we've got some ground to cover, don't we? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, if you'll open the oven door, and sure, throw this in. let's go ahead. Thank you, Father. So we're going to put it right here. Now that's our apple pie, and it's on, it's on for 450 to... 50 degrees for about 15 minutes. Don't freak out. Okay. And then you turn it down. I was okay? going to say, that's a high pie temperature. Yeah, I know Good. that's okay. high, but that's our 425, and then you turn it down. So okay? our roast has rested a little bit. Uh, yeah. This is probably not a very smart way of doing things, but here yeah. I go. I'll help you. Okay, well, here we go. That's beautiful. So it is nice looking, isn't it? Yeah, and it is. then uh, what? Um, that's too hot for you. It we is, have gloves. Um, okay, then let's go ahead They're and. They're right uh, behind you, Father. Great, great, great. Then I'll take right. this. I'll take the spoon right. out of here. And as you see, this is thickened wonderfully right now. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, I kept actually. I kept stirring it around. So remember, this was just very watery. But look, those dozen crushed ginger snaps that you crushed so oh, that's effectively. that's beautiful. Yes. So now what I'll do is, it is I'll to the turn gravy? this. Yes, I don't want to add all these meat renderings to the gra gravy, but some. Right. Okay, yes, right. I think it would be nice to have some of this in here. That that will make a difference, yeah. That um, really, that'll be, be yeah, beautiful. A little bit more still. All right, so I to took see? about half, half of the renderings, and here we go. Here. Now give that a little taste and see what you think. All right, I'll tell you just a minute. It's really good. Does it need more meat? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll put in a little bit more of this. See, again, this is split up between a lot of people. I mean, this is hardly, you know, this is a roast to serve at least four people. So, 
Okay. Oh, okay. If you give that, oh, that's right. We need to. If you give a little stir. Okay. Then I the think next, it. Could I suggest putting a little salt in it? Sure. Okay. It's right there, Father. Okay. And so, uh, we said uh, we put a quarter teaspoon in before, but guess what? It really it was just a few grinds. Mm -hmm. So now I think we're going to pretty much. Let me try. Uh, it we now. certainly have a full quarter teaspoon. This looks like a lot's coming out, but it really isn't. And I think we're close to about. Getting close to a half teaspoon of salt now. Delicious. Okay, it's right in the range now. Right in the okay. range. Now okay. what are we going to do? We're going to move okay, that. Okay, yeah, let's That's go ahead and move this. Right? So this is fine. Okay. And then... You're going to put your pasta in? Yes. Um, now again, this is usually served with potatoes or noodles uh, at the risk of... Uh, I, I don't want to cause any controversies here, but I'm putting in some Italian campanelli here, meaning mm -hmm. little bells. It almost looks like someone took the edge of oh, lasagna. Oh, those are so cute. Yeah, and, and, and turned them into like little narrow bells. I'll try to show what, what one look of these like. looks like. Yeah, yeah it's those are kind beautiful. of hard to see. But anyway, it takes some imagination to say they look like little bells. But we'll go ahead and put these right into the pasta water. Now, then. how long do they take to boil, Father? Well, I we don't mind overcooking this pasta since it's for a dish that we're really substituting for noodles. Okay. So I'll put most of that in there. We could put the whole thing in, but I'm not going to tonight. Okay. Okay, so we've got that started. But again, if you have a certain kind of noodles, homemade noodles, whatever, regular noodles, that's fine. All right. I like the extra chewiness Give of this big, time. thick pasta. Right. You know, I like mm -hmm. to kind of like really uh, get, get into that. So I, I even will cook it a little bit al dente, but that's not a very German thing to do. No. By the time it's uh, it gets finished cooking on the table, it's still okay. Now and, you're going to do what? And the pasta does continue to cook there on, on, on the table, uh, you know, right. as long as it's in the dish. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slice a little bit of this, and we'll mm -hmm. see how we did Ooh, here. that's beautiful. Yeah, I, it looks a little bit more well done than it is, but this is plenty well done, folks. Um, you might want to go a little bit lighter on the heat or shorter right. on the time. Right. Uh, that looks beautiful. But so anyway... Um, here, how about getting a couple of forks and let's try a tiny bit of that. And okay. We'll dip it into the sauce there. I'm going to get a couple little plates out. How about that? Hold on well, a minute. Well, that sounds nice, too. That sounds Although nice. We're just sampling for now, though, because the real flavor will be, of course, when we have the, um, the uh, noodles along with it or our pasta along with it. So I'm cutting this a little bit. So, again, this is quite well done. Partially just the demands of the show. I think we left it in a little bit longer than we were originally going to leave it. Okay. But um, now what I'll do when I, I get home, yes. or when I serve this at home, if you can do a big crowd. I think it's nicer to cut it in pieces about this big or mm -hmm. even a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. Then I'll put it in this big pasta bowl. We'll show that in a minute. Right. And then we'll put a bunch of the meat on and then a bunch of this gravy on it. Ooh, Toss it all together good. and then we'll all have some. And you can still have some gravy on the side and some meat on the side. Mm -hmm. But then everyone gets some of everything. Otherwise, right. it can kind of seem a little bit meager. So just so, put a couple okay, pieces put on. A couple here. pieces on. Yeah. And see this uh, it kind of has kind of a a dark color to it here and I uh, right. but we didn't really burn it that much, folks. Yeah, we didn't we didn't burn. So it's hard to burn chuck roast really, especially when yeah. it's Soaked in vinegar and Okay, and so wine. we're going to try a little bit of gravy on this. Yes, go ahead. I'll put some onions here on okay. it, too. Why not? There you go. Okay. And then a little bit more over here. And we're going to try it. Okay. okay. Let's move this out of the way. Back right, here. Back to the back. Right. Okay, I want to also... Okay, we'll what? go ahead and... Well, let's, let's try go ahead it. and I have our little sample of this first. Okay, here you go. Thank There's you. a knife if you need one. I think I'm good. I you think, think we made nice and small. Well, good. I and can't then, wait then to try I see it. a big piece now that I mentioned that. I was All wrong. Right. Okay. Delicious. Mm. Absolutely. Certainly, we've got the sweet and sour going on. Oh, definitely. In the meat and in the sauce. Right. It's really good. Mmm. So on this note, we're going to take a little break, Father, and we'll be right back on The Chef, You and I, right after this breaks. We're back, Father, and this is an exciting part that you're going to do with the cabbage. What are you going to do to make it even better? Well, our cabbage has been simmering for over a half hour now, yeah, so it's getting pretty tender. Mm -hmm. It's got some apples in that. 
Uh, but other than that, it really doesn't have any sugar. We have that nice balsamic or you know, the dark malt vinegar. Right. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm taking some jelly. And I could get grape, but I, I really like blackberry. I so, do too. I do so too. So I'm going for that. If you'll t take that lid off and put it right there. Okay, so I well, need... Well, no, I think uh, we'll be okay. Okay. Go okay. ahead. Now so what are you doing? I'm going to stir this once. I'm going to stir our nice, beautiful cabbage. See how nice and red mm -hmm. it remained? Right. And we have a little bit of liquid left in it, okay? That's good. And then I am going to add... How much jelly? Two I'm tablespoons, gonna, uh, three no, tablespoons? No, more like a, a, a solid third of a cup. Okay. Okay, and if you stir that right on up, we might have to add a little bit more water to it. All right. Because All right. we've simmered, simmered, simmered a lot there. Actually, it looks really good, Father. If it looks good to you, then... Yeah, it looks delicious, actually. Okay, then I'm turning... And you turning... want that to melt into... Yes. Here, right? I'll do a couple more stirs, if that's okay. okay. I'm and... doing that. Because and... I see a pocket or two. If you right. cook a lot, you can start to... Do withstand what? heat a little bit there. Okay. That looks gorgeous, Father. I'm going to eat yes, a little bit I'm more. Yes, I'm looking forward to tasting that. Okay. So, and our okay. pasta is boiling, and we're just about finished here. We're now going to get into the Brussels sprouts. Okay, and I've bought some, uh, a bag of uh, Can fresh... Can I have a little paper towel, Father? Sure. Thank you. Thank there you. There you go. Uh-huh. And... All right. So we're doing Brussels sprouts, and Father makes the best Brussels sprouts ever. Thank so you. Thank you. This is what it looks like. It's really pretty. This turned out beautiful, Father. So, thank you. Thank you. And this is uh, cabbage. You know, these are little cabbages. This is very... Cabbage, yeah. cabbage yeah. dinner with a lot of right. emphasis on the sweet and sour. Right, right. But we're going to go ahead and cut the nubs off of these right. and then quarter them. I like to at least half Brussels sprouts, but I, quartering them is even better because then these different sauces can get in there and they cook very nicely instead of overcooking on the outside okay. while they're still raw on the inside. All right, so my so we'll question work on this is, a little bit in a, in a we break. need a little pan. Uh, a little, a little uh, frying pan. Can we, right. can we take a little break then and I'll cut yes. those up? Yes, we can. We're back on the chef, you and I, and we're getting down to the very end. Yes, right? yes. And what we're we've already you've already quartered these. You've taken yes, off we, this job. Yeah, we took off the nubs at the end and then quartered them. If they right. were really little, like this one, we let get by just halving it. But yes, okay. And then so what uh, you're gonna do? We've already heated up the olive oil fondant. Yeah, yeah. We have two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter or margarine. I always just use real butter, but uh, and Which then we're we putting in these there. in here. The, the 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 butter and the olive oil are already melted together, so we're putting these in here. Mm -hmm. Yes. They... And then, great. Uh, then another thing I'm doing, and we could use fresh onion. I don't mind using instant onion though with Brussels sprouts, so I'm going to get the instant onion. Okay. And you know the wonderful thing about it is that our pie is almost done. It only takes about 45 minutes in the oven. And so while Father's doing that, we're going to add this other beautiful stuff. And our pasta is almost done, Father. Look at that. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's, that's getting there. It's getting it's there. Getting Again, there. we're going to cook it more than I normally would, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to, to make it a little bit mushy, more noodly. Okay. So with the instant onion, I'm going to just put probably... A half teaspoon to a teaspoon on there. No, no exact science of this one, folks. Okay, so we have this cooking, and it's nice. And then, I'm sorry, because it's me, cayenne pepper is necessary. I love cayenne pepper. Okay, good. It's I'm, just garlic. Okay, and I'm not going to overwhelm anyone with it. It's right. less than an eighth of a teaspoon that I have in there right. today. Right. Okay, so I've got this all cooking in here really nice, and again, mm -hmm. You can, you can move them with a spoon. I like doing it this way because I think it's not to be fancy. It's more to just get everything nice and coated with all that butter. See how nice and, Ooh, that's and buttery beautiful. everything's looking here. Oh, it smells good. Yeah, that onion makes all the difference. You know, I hated Brussels sprouts as a kid. I think I mentioned that last Did time. You? I think yeah. I made some on your show before. And I absolutely hated them. And uh, I wish they would just all just die and I'd never have to have them again. How would but you like now, live on beans all the time? Oh, I wouldn't have liked them all the time, but I'll tell you what, I'd, okay. I'd have many time instead of uh, Brussels sprouts. So we've turned off the pasta. You know, the pasta continues to cook. <coughs> Excuse me. 
The pasta continues to cook after you turn off the heat, but also even after you've strained it, of course, it's continuing to cook. So this is going to be nice and soft now. We're ready to put this, uh, pour this through a colander at some point okay. soon. Okay, I'm going to okay. get the colander up for you, and we're going to we're going to do that. Okay, and my microphone has fallen off. Don't worry about it. These things happen on chef shows, don't you know? Okay, I do know. Right. I do now. You do now. So, how long would you say that you do that, Father? Uh, in that. Oh, just, we saute this in the pan until they're looking a little bit scorched. See, they're turning ni nice and bright green now. Right. So you want to toss them around a little bit. I've got a pretty decent amount of heat there. Okay. And I need so to take a quick break. We need to take a quick break, and we'll be right back on the Chef You and I. We're back on the Chef You and I, and Father, what are you doing next? Okay, now we're finishing off the Brussels sprouts. I want to show them one more time. Okay. Okay, so again, we have our onion, our butter, and see how some of them are a little bit scorched? Isn't that nice? That's beautiful. Okay, so now, and they, they're smelling a little bit Brussels sprouty now, but still more oniony. I like that. Now I'm going over, and I'm, I'm going to get a little water. Yes. And? About, about a little, uh, uh, about an eighth of a cup to a quarter cup of water. Mm -hmm. And see now... See, they're steaming real nice, and right. that's going to make sure that every nook and cranny of those Brussels sprouts gets done enough. So we want them cr crunchy, but not overly crunchy. Right. Then, okay, we, and again, so again, we have, uh, we don't have salt in here yet. I want to add a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. Again, just a couple grinds of this thing, not mm -hmm. even a quarter uh, teaspoon. Right. Okay, and we put in the cayenne yes. pepper, and we put in about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of instant onion. Now, while there's still a little of this liquid here, and I've tossed it around a little bit, so again, this is, has water, it has butter, it has uh, olive oil, and a little bit of salt now. Now I'm taking some hoisin sauce, just store-bought hoisin sauce. I love hoisin sauce. I love hoisin sauce. Last time I think I made these with ch Thai chili paste. That's right. And okay, this time it's hoisin sauce because we're sweet and souring everybody to death as it is. Right, I was going not? to, I was going to do a yeah. vinegar thing. So anyway, I'll now take a little hoisin sauce. And I'll, I'll squirt some on. I'm putting on probably about a tablespoon and a half here. And that should be plenty. Okay. Again, you can't overdo it. You just end up wasting if you overdo it. But right. you know. Okay, and so now I have this uh, mix. Now watch this with this, uh, with this water. And again, you can do it with a spoon if you want. But see now how I'm coating? Oh. I'm coating these. And now they're going to be they very, very, very nice. Really okay, beautiful. and now we're ready to we're ready to plate those up. Okay, we will. And then you can go ahead and pour that through a strainer, uh, the, the noodles through a strainer when you get a chance, and then we're ready to go. Well, Father, we've come to almost the end of our show, so what are you going to do next before the end of the show so that we can show everybody how okay. to do it? Okay, we'll pot up the, or plate up the uh, Brussels sprouts. Okay. And here, if I can get right in here, I'm left-handed, I need to tip this. And I'm going to try to get all that nice, that nice, uh, what, butter and oil and everything. Now, the nice thing is, with, mixed with the water, a lot of it will drain to the bottom of the bowl. So you don't have to eat all of that stuff, although it all tastes very good. You know, it's, it's healthier this way. So anyway, there are the Brussels sprouts. If you'll go ahead and put those forward, you might want to try one if you... Oh, I will. I'm going to put it okay, forward. Hold okay. on. Wait a second. And then I'm going to get... You, you used all oh. that. Guess what uh -huh. you used? All the I've spoons. been sampling a lot. So, That's all right. um, and then. Look at that, Father. Let they're very it. sweet. Yeah, so this is hoisin sauce. You can buy it in, a, in the Asian section of your oh, grocery store. Delicious. Thank you, thank you. And mm -hmm. then, okay, so now I have, I, as you see, I've cut some of the roast, and I, we have our, our, our pasta strained here. Some of these pieces I left a little bit too big, but that's okay. Again, for a nice family style meal, then, you can start off by just throwing some of this in here and we can we want to save some of the gravy though for you know whoever eats that other piece of the roast and you can also put some in a gravy boat or whatever right. on the side right but here if i just stir this a little bit and that is a very nice dish um might look, not look too pretty the way i just stirred it but it looks it, mm. beautiful father well thank you and then i'll go like this just to make it a little bit nicer there on the top so okay you, and it's ready to so go nice now, and hot you have, if you could put that spoon in there. Or that, yeah, we'll put this work. spoon in here as our serving spoon. How right. nice. So now you've got a family meal for four or six, Father? Oh, yeah, I'd say. Definitely. And um, we want to thank you, Father, for joining us today on The Chef You and I. 
Uh, our pie's almost done, but not quite. It's and looking good. And it's smelling looking good. good. Right. So we're going to we're going to say goodbye to you all and bon appetit. Right. Thank you. And thank you for joining us. All these recipes will be on the Chef You and I and also your website, Father. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you again for joining me. And we'll see you next time, Father. Okay. Thanks, On the Catherine. Chef You and I. Thank you for joining us for German Night. Thanks for joining us on the Chef You and I show today. We'll be back next week with another great and healthy recipe. Don't forget to visit our website, thechefyouandi.com, for all of our featured recipes, cooking tips, and clips of the show.